Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video I show you the latest improvements released by Microsoft in Microsoft Teams that helps you to present like a pro. We will see how you can share your screen standing in front. Then we will see additional tools that allows you to highlight specific content in a PowerPoint presentation. For example, there is the laser pointer, there is the pen, there is the highlighter, and then we will see finally how you can turn on by caption or transcription. Okay, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every step. And here we go on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams desktop app open it. Stick around to the end of this video because I'll show you every improvements related to PowerPoint in Microsoft Teams. Let's explore this new functionality provided by Microsoft. Here I have a meeting in my calendar. Let's join this meeting. And here we go. I am now in this meeting. Let's start to present something. In the top right corner, there is the icon share content. Let's click on it. Before to share content, I want to show you this new feature called presenter mode. We have two options here. You have the ability to share content only or you can stand out in front of your presentation so your face will be available during the presentation for the attendees. Now let's say that I want to enable this option. For the moment it's disabled because I have to turn on the camera. So I will click here in this way I will turn on my camera and here we go. Now I will share content. I will share my screen uh, so I will be able to stand out. So I will select now this option and then I will share my screen. And here we go, I'm sharing my screen now. Here I have a little window where you can see a preview what exactly the attendees are watching. So now I will open a PowerPoint presentation that I want to share with the attendees. And here I have always a preview available on top of my screen sharing. And this is absolutely important because you have always an eye contact on the preview. So now I can start, for example, to point something in the slide. So this is very cool. So here I can say, hey, I love Italy and Germany, or I can say, who am I? And I can speak about this, this slide. So this is pretty cool. You are always in front of your presentation. Back in the pre-meeting experience, I will share new content now. It's time to explore the PowerPoint live mode. Let's say that I want to share with the attendees in the meeting a PowerPoint. So I will select this one. And now I am sharing this PowerPoint. Let me jump exactly on the exact slide, which is the 20. And now, as you can see, we have a set of new tools available. I have cursor, laser pointer, pen, highlighter, and the eraser. So it's very cool. So before to explore one by one, let me hide presenter view. So we maximize now the PowerPoint. So I'm ready now to explore every tool. The cursor is very simple, so the attendees will see the cursor moving on the slide. Then let's start with the laser pointer. So if I click again on the laser pointer, I can select which color I want to use. Let's say light orange. Okay, it's fine. Now, if I move on the slide, we can see the laser pointer moving on exactly following my mouse cursor. It's pretty cool if I want to highlight a specific part or if I want to point out the attention on a specific part of the slide. Now, let's move on the pen. This also is another cool tool. So if I click again on the pen, I can see this panel show up and here I can choose the sides. So let's say three and then the color, always orange because it's my favorite color. And now here I can start to sketch something. So what I will draw here will disappear when I will stop presenting. I can draw everything basically here. So I want to highlight the title of this slide, for example, or I want to sketch an arrow 
that point out uh, on a specific word or so you know OneDrive is very important and useful in the Microsoft 365 context but even Outlook is absolutely important and SharePoint Align is the part and it's the store where you can place every files that you have or maybe I can select the highlighter if I click again on the highlighter, the panel show up and again I can select the sides. So let's say five, yellow is fine. So here we have GitHub and MailChimp are very useful for your job. Now you can see how it looks like this, this slide. It's very, very cool. Now the last tool that you have is the eraser. If I click on the eraser, I'm able to remove a specific part of what I sketched in the slide or if I click again, I can erase all ink on slide. And here we go. Now I clean it everything. Lastly, let me show you the last feature, which is transcription. In order to enable transcription, you have to click on the ellipsis button and then start transcription. So now a panel show up on the right, as you can see, and now Microsoft Teams is transcribing everything what I am telling. So this is pretty cool because at the end of the meeting, the attendees or other participants to the meeting can follow up the meeting and can see what we, what we say, basically. So now let me turn off transcription. I will stop transcription. I will end this meeting and I will show you how you can download transcription. Oui. Okay, I ended the meeting now, I can open now this meeting and here I have transcription. So if I click on it, I can see the transcription and here we go. I can follow up the meeting and I can even download transcription as a docx or as a VTT file. All right, we have seen in this video how you can present like a pro using the latest improvements released by Microsoft in PowerPoint Live. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.